if we have numbers, population and sample, statistics, if we have numbers, population and sample, statistics, and hypothesis, what is our magic word? Correct! Quantitative research. Tara, pag-usapan na natin siya. Hi, Kaskoolers! Hello, researchers. Welcome back to our channel, Anna PH. In this video, we'll talk about quantitative research. Specifically, I will be sharing to you its characteristics, advantages, and disadvantages. Also, I will provide you with samples of quantitative research titles which you can use as your reference or your guide in making your own. Let's start the ball rolling and let's have the definition of quantitative research. My favorite definition of quantitative research is the one from Aliaga and Gunderson 2000. According to them, quantitative research is explaining phenomenon by collecting numerical data that are analyzed using mathematically based methods, in particular statistics. Kaskoolers, ka researchers, himayin natin yung definition na yan for us to fully understand what quantitative research is. So, quantitative research is explaining phenomenon. Kunin agad natin yung word na phenomenon. Sa quantitative research, we explain phenomenon. Ano ba yung phenomenon? Phenomenon is a peculiar incident that can happen anywhere, in any discipline, or in any organization. So, sa research kasi, hindi na tayo after dun sa mga common na na pangyayari ordinaryo na kasi ano pang i-research natin kung wala namang bago dun sa sitwasyon na yon wala namang kakaiba dun sa pangyayari na yon so tandaan sa quantitative research we deal with phenomenon mga peculiar unique and extraordinary situation or um, happening. Now, let us continue. Quantitative research deals with collecting numerical data. Of course, no, from the term itself, alam agad natin na ang quantitative research is a research method that deals with collecting data that are of quantity or numerical data. Wala namang hiwaga dyan. And then, of course, in quantitative research, these data are analyzed using mathematically based methods, in particular statistics. This type of research utilizes numbers and statistical analysis. It is ideal in studying phenomenon which must contend with the problems of measurement. Furthermore, in studying a phenomenon, Tayong mga quantitative researchers, we attempt to measure relevant factors and variables by attaching numeric values that express quantity. Analyzing numbers to answer a scientific inquiry is done through mathematical formulas usually used in descriptive and inferential statistics. So, ayan no, na ipaliwanag na sa atin kung ano ang quantitative research. Now, para bigyan pa kayo ng mas malawak o mas malalim na konsepto nito, I will be sharing to you the characteristics of quantitative research. Characteristics of quantitative research. One, it is reliable and objective. Two, it uses statistics to generalize a finding. Three, it reduces and restructures a complex problem to a limited number of variables. Four, it looks at the connections between variables and establishes cause and effect relationships in highly controlled cir circumstances. Five, it tests theories or hypotheses. Six, it assumes that the sample is representative of the population. Seven, the subjectivity of its methodology is a secondary concern. And then last, it deals with the details of the subject. 
bilang ikaw ay gagawa o susulat ng quantitative research, karapatan mong malaman ito, ang advantages at disadvantages ng quantitative research. Advantages. First, it allows the researcher to measure and analyze data to arrive at an objective answer to the problem stated. Second, the result is reliable since the study uses a big sample of the population. Third, standards are usually used in choosing the instruments, in sampling procedures, and in choosing statistical treatment, thus making the research replicable. Fourth, ito, mahalaga to. Personal biases can be avoided in this type of research since personal interaction is not part of the process. Other advantages of quantitative research, fifth, processes involved are simplified since the steps in doing quantitative research are made easy and systematic. And then last, results can be reduced through statistical treatments and interpreted in just few statements. Ang quantitative research ay meron disadvantages that we need to consider. One, the context of the study or the experiments is ignored in such a way that it does not consider the natural setting where the study is conducted. Second, having a large study sample requires, of course, the researchers to spend more resources. Third, results are limited since they are usually based nano on the analysis of numbers and are not obtained from detailed narratives. And then fourth, it provides less elaborate accounts of human perceptions. Other disadvantages, especially if it is an experimental research, the level of control might not be normally placed in the real world because it is usually done in laboratory. And then last, preset or fixed alternative answers may not uh, necessarily reflect the true answers of the participants. Ayan! Ang dami na nating nalaman patungkol sa quantitative research, yung definition, characteristics, advantages, at yung dapat natin i-consider na disadvantages niya. Ngayon naman, syempre hindi natin palalagpasin na hindi kayo bigyan ng mga samples the oh. research titles under this research method. But wait lang. Allow me to express my gratitude to all of you who keep on supporting our channel, Anna PH, and to those who keep on uh, watching our videos dyan nga sa ating channel. So, doon naman sa mga bago pa lang or dati na na nanonood dito sa channel natin pero hindi pa nakasubscribe. Please, subscribe na po kayo and pakilike at share na rin yung ating mga videos dahil lagi ko nga sinasabi ang goal nito ay ma-reach no, yung ating mga student researchers all over the Philippines. <laughs> Gusto kasi natin na ma-reach out nga sila um, in our little way, in our own way, ay ma-assist sila sa pagbuo, sa pagsulat nila ng kanilang research paper. At uh, maging part din tayo ng kanilang research journey. Thank you po. Ka-schoolers, ka-researchers, eto na po. Yung mga sample research titles natin under the quantitative method. I am encouraging you to do and write quantitative researches because this type of research is really important to different areas or different fields. Like halimbawa, no, sa field ng education. If you want to uh, measure the uh, level of performance of students, for example, sa ganitong subject or sa ganitong subject, then quantitative research method kasi yung gagamitin natin dyan kasi nga level of performance. Okay, now, 
Um, if you want to assess yung effectiveness ng uh, teacher strategies or methods used in teaching, or if you want to assess then yung effectiveness ng uh, isang school policy, then we may use quantitative research method on those. Sa area naman ng business, ang quantitative research serves as a valuable tool. Um, it may help um, those in the business field to improve their marketing strategies, for example, or kaya it may help a certain company to make better decisions regarding their products and services. And of course, no, bukod sa fields ng education and business, alam na alam natin na malaki yung nako-contribute ng quantitative research sa fields ng medical, ng health, as well as sa science and technology. So ayan, ka-schoolers, ka-researchers, enough na siguro yan para mag-guide ka sa gagawin mong quantitative research. Ngayon, kung may question ka pa patungkol sa research method na ito, comment mo lang sa ibaba, okay? There you have it, ka-schoolers, ka-researchers. Thank you for being with me. See you in our next video. Bye! If we have numbers